Clinton County Sheriff's Office is asking for help finding the driver responsible for a fatal hit and run over the weekend. CBS 4's Claire Curry brings us more from the teen victim's family and the ongoing investigation. Here off of State Road 39 is where 16 year old Reese East was crossing the road and he was struck by a vehicle. The driver fleeing the scene immediately after. His sister Alanis says Reese was 10 years younger than her, but she was looking forward to him now becoming a young adult. He was just about to start a job with her fiance until the incident on June 23rd. She says Reese and their mother got into an argument and he took a stroll to cool off. My mom had heard a thud um, from like inside of the apartment. She's just been absolutely devastated. Mm -hmm. So she had to do CPR on him in the ditch. Deputies and EMS arrived on scene just after 2.30 a.m. Reese died the next day in an Indianapolis hospital. She's been very, very distraught because she had to make the decision to pull the plug on his life support. Um, and I, I think what makes it really hard is that we don't know who did this. Detectives are still working to determine a potential suspect vehicle based off of the broken parts left behind. They are also passing out flyers to community members that may have cameras up in the area. We have some video footage from uh, the center of Rossville, which is the intersection of uh, State Road 39, US 421, State Road 26. Their investigation so far leads them to believe the driver turned off of a side street or made a U-turn north of State Road 26 following the incident. The sheriff says they are looking for any cars with damage to the front passenger side in Clinton and beyond. There's factories uh, north into Carroll County. There's work down south. There's Lafayette's connected to the west. We have Howard County connected to the east. So we're looking at probably four to six counties. Now there is a $1,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest of the driver responsible. Reporting in Rossville, Claire Curry, CBS 4 News. Thank